Hey guys, welcome back to Neutral Gaming and we are here for another episode of Cool Story Bro. We have a lot of news to cover for today with some of them relating to the content that we will be making for the next couple of weeks. So let's get right into them. Team Liquid and Team Secret qualified for the International 2022. Over the last two weeks, the last chance qualifiers was fought and decided who will be the last two teams qualifying for the International. And those teams are Team Liquid and Team Secret. Sadly, that means that Anna and Thompson will not be making it to TI this year. Nevertheless, we're looking forward to a very stacked TI, which we'll be able to cover in official capacity because... We got press passes for the International! We got ourselves press passes for the International 2022. We just took a shot and sent an email to Valve's PR asking for accreditation, who then allowed us to press passes to cover the event for Clutch Points and for Neutral Gaming. It's a fantastic opportunity, and it really added more excitement for me in going to my very first TI. It only took me 10 years to get to this point, but all of the sweat, blood, and tears that it took to get to this point was well worth it. We're finally going to TI as media. Look at these cool new Secret Lab chairs. While in the Singapore Indoor Stadium, Secret Lab will have an on-site booth starting October 26 onwards, which means we'll be able to visit it during TI and partake in some activities while we're there. They just unveiled this week the International Edition for TI-11, and it looks amazing with its molten lava design. They also unveiled three lumber pillows with designs featuring Tidehunter, Roshan, and Mortimer. Meanwhile, the company also unveiled an Overwatch 2 design, which was also dope. Secret Lab just keeps on putting out amazing designs for their award-winning gaming chairs, and I'm looking forward to visiting their booth at TI. Harbor is Valorant's Agent 21. Riot Games revealed earlier this week Harbor, which has been teased over the past weeks as Agent 21. He's a dashing fellow, motorcycle riding South Asian controller who has an affinity with water. Over this week, streamers and pro players were given early access to Harbor and is going to become available for everyone else next week on October 18th. Look at these funny Street Fighter 6 costume characters. In other news, Street Fighter 6 had its closed beta period over the past weekend, and players finally got the chance to play this upcoming fighting game. It's the first time ever in the Street Fighter franchise that players are able to create their own characters in the game. However, players use this as an opportunity to create some nightmare-inducing characters instead, just in time for Halloween. Just take a look at the ones they've made over at Twitter and elsewhere, and tell me that you won't just immediately quit in a fight against these horrible creatures. Tower of Fantasy content and free codes are coming soon. And finally, for the last news we have this week, stay tuned for updates here on Neutral Gaming as we will be giving away free Tower of Fantasy codes in the coming weeks. Tower of Fantasy has been kind enough to allot for 50 codes in total to give away to you guys. So stay tuned to know how you can get one of those for yourself. And that's it for today's episode of Cool Story Bro. Hopefully, I get to see you guys again next week during our final episode for October before we head on to more evergreen content as we are going to be covering the international during the last weekend of October. So, I hope to see you guys again next week and during our the international 2022 coverage. But until then, stay frosty.